Colin Murray. Marty, always pleased to see a new face, but I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put into that head of yours. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit a suckle. Sorry about your mum. Truly. But, no matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Daddy's gone, and you need to know why. Could be I know where and why. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not, and yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, 100 caps, and daddy's location's yours. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm going to help you out, for old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Fine. Go find Daddy yourself, then. I'll be here when you change your mind. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. I did say it was 100 caps. And, as I recall, you said no. So now, I'm saying it's 300 caps. What'll you say this time? I'm reasonable, but I'm not crazy. How can you bargain with me and not have the caps? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. If you're looking for a handout, you can forget it. But if you're looking for work, there's a favor you could do for me. If you're successful, It'll provide the caps you need to pay me. Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps and I'm giving you a way to get them, it's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> the 
wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade if you ask me. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Don't let me keep you. 